2000 Peterbilt, and the trailer is a 2000 Heil, and I got it when it was brand new. It's a company truck, not mine. And they customized it twice. The first time it looked a lot different than it does this time. But the trailer's pretty much the same. Hold classic cars for a couple years, so I had a picture with 35 Duesenberg, and I just thought that would work really good. And uh, we got riding high in Grand Rapids, made the hood and the grill, the headlight bar and everything. The front bumper, it's all one of a kind. But it's eight inches narrower, four inches longer, and a little bit taller than it used to be. Looked a little bit more old fashioned, lowered it a little bit more and then drop the sun visor. Actually made the windshield look a little bit smaller by making a piece of aluminum and then put the stainless around it. It's three and a quarter inches wide in the center. I raised it up a little bit, painted that green and put the stainless on to make it look original. What about lettering the tires? The uh, usually just take them off the truck to start out with. I can't hardly ride them on the truck. Lay them down, they polish the inside anyway. So lay it down, do one side and dry it, turn it over and do the other side. I tried silver, it flaked off, so I had to take it all off when I got here and start over. In 94, when I started showing, I didn't have any money, so I had to think of everything possible, make all the screws the same direction. So I started polishing them on the inside, then I started painting them on the inside, then I started adding more paint. Everything just gets more complicated. Everybody tries to do the same thing to keep up, you know. It's just a lot more working at. I tried just not painting them for a couple years because I'm lazy and don't get as many points. <laughs> you get 20 points on your tires, so you need to get all you can. I, uh, I chromed the seats myself, everything, when I first got the truck. I paid for all that. My boy worked for a hardwood floor business, so I got the discount on the floor. His boss had this idea, so I come up with that, put the, yeah, yeah, put the, the inserts. The I asked him what I could do different. He, he brought me a catalog, so I just picked something out of it. And all the stuff in the bunk my boy made, he's a trim carpenter, and a lot of scrap stuff. I didn't have to spend much money in the bunk. $144 for the cabinet doors, and I stained them and varnished them and put them in. We just took the regular uh, watch fenders and then added this fender skirt into it. Make it look like old Indian motorcycles. Lavish Beer had a streamlined trailer back in 1938, I think. There's pictures up at Walcott in the Historical Society picture where they had a skirt, full skirt on it. And it's just to trying to make it look like the old 30s look, like the, like the hood and everything. Try to blend it all together, make it look like an old truck.